Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I am ready for this winter to be over. It has been relentless. I think the high for the next seven days here in North Dakota is zero. That's the high, zero degrees Fahrenheit. So, And I feel really bad for a lot of you that are living in the south and the east coast and places that aren't used to this. You guys are getting hammered this year, so I feel sorry for you guys. But one of the things that you need to consider when the temperatures are like this is when you're flying a drone is flight duration. There's a lot of things to think about when you're flying in cold temperatures. And I've done a lot of videos. I think I've done three of them. That's not a lot, but I've done three of them in the past two years on winter flying. I'll put those in the description as well as in the note cards here. They'll pop up throughout the video if you guys want to watch those if you haven't. But uh, one of the most important things to consider is flight duration because the cold temperatures does affect the flight time of your drone. And you need to be aware of that and you need to be aware how fast your battery drains. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly the Mavic Air, the Mavic Pro and the Mavic 2 Pro today. And I'm gonna do a functional flight test. I'm not gonna do a hover test. I'm gonna pick an intelligent flight mode. I haven't decided which one yet, probably point of interest and fly like you normally would and see what percentage of maximum advertised flight time that we can get. For instance, the Mavic 2 Pro gets 31 minutes advertised flight time in ideal conditions. So it's no wind today, so it's a great day to do this test. And I'm gonna fly at about 15 miles per hour, 16 miles per hour, because that's what DJI says these drones should be flying at to get that maximum flight time. And we're just gonna see what percentage we can get for each of these drones. So I'm gonna head outside, I'm gonna get bundled up in my nice big puffy coat and my coveralls, my big winter boots, and we're gonna test out these drones and we're gonna see which one of these can be crowned the Ice King. Okay, so Mavic Air. Oh, by the way, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, this is 51 Drones and my name is Russ. Feel free to subscribe before we get started here. Go ahead, I'll wait. All right, thanks. So also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at 51 Drones. And so let's get the Mavic Air up in the air. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly over to this little area above this little bridge and I'm gonna do a point of interest because I wanna fly doing something that we normally would do. I don't wanna do a hover test, I wanna do an actual flight test. So as you can see here, we are at 97% and so we're gonna go ahead and launch. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up the uh, battery here and see what we're at. All right, we're gonna set the low battery warning to 20%, and right there's our flight time. So I'm gonna check that every so often. That's what we're gonna use for our timer. We're gonna use the flight time right here on the DJI Go 4 app. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fly over. Boy, this is really dark. I'm gonna brighten that up a little bit. One of the other big issues is having the right gloves. I don't have touch gloves. I just have my, my leather gloves right now. I can't find a good pair of touch gloves. So if you guys know of any, let me know in the comments. Send me a link. But let's go ahead and just fly around here a little bit and head over to this bridge. And yes, I'm being lazy today, sitting in my little outdoor rocking chair because I'm gonna be sitting here for over an hour doing this. And so, um, yeah, actually it might be better if I walked around, it might keep me warmer. Okay, for the rest of this, I'm just gonna time lapse it so you guys don't have to watch all of this. Here we go. You can call me sheep. You can say I lay You can say I Okay, so the return to home did kick in, and we are at 23% right now as it's on its way back home. And if we check to see where we at for battery life. We are at um, 14 minutes flight time. I'm gonna move over here. It looks like we're losing signal. There we go. All I had to do was stand up. All right, touchdown is 16.05 at 8% battery left. Now, one thing also to keep in mind that your battery does come down quite a bit faster 
uh, especially when you got that full throttle on. Of course, I didn't have full throttle, but return to home. And it actually did come down a lot faster when it started the return to home process. So actually, I would not recommend going to 20%. I would maybe set your return to home uh, warning to 30%, just to make sure you have enough battery to get home. So let's try the Mavic Pro and see how that does. Okay, one other thing I should probably mention before we get the Mavic Pro going here is when you bring your drone inside and your controller, don't bring it into your nice warm house. Just leave it in your garage or somewhere that's not 70 degrees. Leave it somewhere that's, you know, such a such a drastic temperature change is going to lead to condensation. And, and if you've watched any of my other videos on cold weather flying, you know, I've said that many times. But it is probably the most important thing because that condensation will collect on the inside of your drone and it'll get everything moist and that's really not a good deal. So just make sure that when you warm up your drone, you warm it up gradually. So let's go ahead and launch right here. We are at 98%, so just about the same as the Mavic Air. And I think we'll find a new subject. Uh, I think we'll just go right out uh, to the gravel pit here. And we'll just find a new subject to do our uh, point of interest on. And we are going to hit the start button and speed it up. Same speed. We'll go about, I think we were going 16 before with the Mavic Air. So we'll see right there, close enough, 15 and a half. And let's check the battery right now. Make sure we got the low battery warning set to the same. And we have it set to 20%, so I will leave that since we're pretty close to home. And right there is our flight time. We've been up two minutes, so let's go ahead and time lapse this and uh, see how long we can get with the Mavic Pro. You think that using her would get to me? And if you're right, then you're in trouble. You know, one thing that I'm noticing here as, as we're watching the Mavic Pro fly, um, the temperature is a lot lower than the Mavic Air. It seems like at this point the Mavic Air was hotter. I'll have to check that out. I'll put it up on the screen if um, if it is significantly different. But to me, I think the Mavic Air was warmer at this point. All right, we're coming up on 20% here, but I'm actually going to fly it around until we get closer to that 8%. So it's about the same as the Mavic Air. So I'm just going to keep canceling it. Uh, until it gets a little bit closer to that 8%. And so we're at about 21, almost 21 minutes to 20%. Wow. I am so amazed still with that precision landing. So let's go ahead and check it. We are at 8%. And let's check the battery. We are at a 23 minute and 20 second flight time. So quite a bit better than the Mavic Air. So nice job, pretty proud of my Mavic Pro. Still a great drone. So let's put the Mavic 2 Pro up and see how that one does. All right, the Mavic 2 Pro. Now I'm guessing this is gonna do a little bit better. Than the Mavic Pro, we shall see, and significantly better than the Mavic Air. So I'm just going to go ahead and wait till it gets down to 98% here, and then go ahead and launch. It is a little bit windier right now. It looks like the wind came up a little bit, still not really significant. And also, it's a little bit warmer. It's four degrees above now, so nice and toasty warm now. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, a little more breeze and just a hair warmer. So. All right, let's just go ahead and get started here. Make sure that we have the low battery set. And yes, we are at 20%. We are launching at 17 degrees Celsius and 98% here. Here we go. Okay, let's go ahead and take off. Your point has been updated. Please check it on the map. We'll get up to the same height, about 150 feet. 
and we'll just find a new spot um, to use as our point of interest. Uh, we'll just use the same thing. We'll use this little rock crusher here. Now the benefit of the Mavic 2 Pro, in case you don't know, for the point of interest, you don't have to actually fly over it. You can just um, drag your fingers around it, point of interest, and just go ahead and drag it like that. And we are locked on. We're going to go ahead and set the speed up to about 16 miles per hour. And go ahead and hit go. But when it comes to her, you better keep it sealed. Don't you dare say a single word, or I will strike you where it feels. Okay, so my screen recorder quit because I ran out of time. <laughs> I ran out of space. We're at 36%, and uh, let's see if I can delete some files here. Hold on a second. Let's get in here. Okay, there we go. So I deleted a video file that I had and made more room. So now we're back online. 32% and our battery is, we've been going 19 minutes, 32%. So almost done. So we're coming up on 20% right now and we are at 22 minutes of flight time. So it's doing quite well. And just in time, we ran out of storage again. So let's go ahead and check our battery. And we are at 25 minutes and 22 seconds. I'll hold that up to the screen because I don't have my screen recording right now. So you guys are able to see that, hopefully. 25 minutes and 22 seconds for the Mavic 2 Pro. And so just as expected, all the drones performed like I thought they would. Um, I was actually pretty impressed to get 25 minutes out of the Mavic 2 Pro. Of course, you would never fly it that long, like I said. You want to maybe set your uh, return to home to about 30% just to make sure that it's going to get back to you because what will happen is if it gets too low, it's just going to land, you know, right where it's at. And you do not want that to happen. So I hope you guys got some value out of this. I hope you, uh, hope you got something out of it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Just those tips again, uh, just put a hand warmer on the back of your mobile device that is the biggest issue when you're flying out in the cold like this um, the battery of the drones they do quite well if you start with them warm so when you do take off just let it hover for about 15 seconds or so just to make sure that battery gets up to a, a safe operating temperature especially if you've been storing them in very cold temperatures and uh, and then when you bring it in just don't bring it in from very cold like today uh, you know zero degrees or anything below freezing actually and then bring it into a very extremely warm temperature, you know, 60, 70 degrees, because that's going to lead to condensation, condensation issues. There goes my, uh, my numb mouth again, but, uh, but it's actually not bad out here. You know, if it's not windy, it's actually not too bad. So also I have flown from inside my vehicle. I fly from inside my pickup. You know, of course, if, if you uh, maintain line of sight, that is the most important thing. And uh, so you can fly in your vehicle, you know, that'll help you keep yourself warm as well as your mobile device and your controller. So thanks for watching today, you guys. If you wanna see more videos like this, be sure that you subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, comment down below. Again, if you guys know of a really good pair of touch sensitive gloves that work in really cold temperatures. Like I said, I have a couple of pair but they do not work in really cold temperatures. You know, they're nice for those 30 degree days, but on days like today, they just don't work. They don't keep my hands warm. So comment below if you guys know of any of those. So thanks again, and as always, fly safe and fly smart.